Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel for Sunday, January 24th. My name is Margie and I'm so glad to spend this time with you today. I'm going to begin, as I always do, by lighting a candle. If you have a candle and an adult to supervise, you can light one too. We light candles in worship to remind us that God is present with us. The light also reminds me of Jesus, who is the light that shines in the darkness that the darkness can never overcome. I repeat that every week, that Jesus is the light that shines in the darkness that the darkness can never overcome. I say it because it's true, but also because it gives me so much comfort for me, it means that no matter what's going on, no matter if I feel sad or scared or anxious, that Jesus is there with me, lighting my darkness, giving me hope in my sadness. I'm never alone. I hope that that helps you as well. Now, before we hear our Bible story for today, we're going to sing a few songs. The first one is one that we've sung many times, Father, We Adore You. It goes, Father, we adore you, lay our lives before you, how we love you. And then we say the same thing for Jesus and for Spirit. Our next song goes along with our gospel reading today, which is about following Jesus. This song is called, I Have Decided to Follow Jesus. It goes like this. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. And then we can sing one of the verses. It goes, though no one join me, I will follow. Though no one join me, I will follow. Though no one join me, I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I hope you enjoy that song. And now it's time for our Bible story. Our story today comes from the gospel according to St. Mark. In fact, it's from the very first chapter of Mark, Mark 1, verses 14 to 20. After John the Baptist was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. 
As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in the boat mending their nets. Immediately Jesus called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed Jesus. The very first thing Jesus does to begin his ministry, after he hears that John the Baptist has been arrested, is to go and find people to follow him. These are his first disciples, which is a word that means students and is the word that we use to describe the ones who follow Jesus. Andrew and Simon and James and John are disciples. Jesus said, follow me, and they dropped everything to follow him. I wonder what it was like to be working on their fishing nets right there beside the Sea of Galilee and to have this man come up to them and say, follow me and I will make you fish for people. I wonder what it means to fish for people. I wonder why Simon and Andrew followed him. Now, James and John were mending their, were in their boats mending the nets with their father, whose name was Zebedee. And Jesus called them and they left. And they didn't just leave their boat and their nets. They left their father. I wonder what it was like to leave behind even their father to follow Jesus. I wonder what their father thought when he saw them leaving. Now, Simon and Andrew and James and John are disciples. They chose to follow Jesus. But we are disciples too. We follow Jesus. We are called. We choose to live a life that follows Jesus, that follows his rules, where we try to love God and love one another. I wonder what it would be like to answer that call. I sure am glad that I didn't have to leave my family behind. I wonder if there are things that we ever have to leave behind when we follow Jesus. Well, that is our story for today. It's a short one, but an important one. I hope that this week you will think about what it means to follow Jesus, and you will think about those fishermen who left everything to follow this person that they didn't know very well, but who turned out to be Jesus, God incarnate. Let's end with prayer. Take a second to get out any wiggles that you might have and then find a still place. Pray with me. And in the pauses, you can add your own prayers. Loving God, we give you thanks for our families and our friends. We give you thanks for our safety. We give thanks for doctors and nurses who keep us healthy. What else are you thankful for today? Loving God, we ask your prayers for those who are alone and lonely, for those who are anxious or worried. And we pray for those who are sick, either with COVID or with other things. We pray especially for our family members who might be sick and for the people that we love that we don't get to see right now because of the pandemic. We pray for the doctors and nurses and frontline workers that they may stay safe. What else do you pray for today?
all these prayers we ask in the name of your son, Jesus, who asks us to follow him. Amen. Well, that is it for today, friends. I hope that you have enjoyed this time together. I miss you and love you, and I will see you right here next week. Bye.